Today we'll learn how the identity a square minus b square equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b can be understood geometrically. So let me first, as you can see, I have already drawn one square and let me first name it as a, b, c and d. The a, b, c, d is a square of dimension a. That means it is a square whose one side is of length a. So what will be the area of a, b, c, d? Area of a, b, c, d will be equal to a square. And what we are trying to find? We are trying to find a square minus b square. That means we have to remove a tiny square of size b from this square. Okay, so let this be length b. Suppose this is b and this is also b. So if we draw, if we construct a square, it will be something like this. Okay, so this is the square whose sides are b. So what will be the area of this square? The area of this square will be b multiplied by b, that is b square. So what we want to find? We have to find a square minus b square. That is the area of the bigger square a, b, c, d minus the area of the smaller square. So what is the remaining area? This is the remaining area. This whole area is remaining. Isn't it? And we have to find a formula for this using lengths a and b. So what is a square minus b square? a square minus b square is nothing but the area shaded in blue. Okay. So now let's see. What is this length? This length is a minus b because the total length was a and we have removed this b to construct this tiny square of area b square. So the remaining length will be a minus b. Now if we let us name this point as O and let us extend this till here. Okay. And let me call this as let me call this point as E and this point as F. Okay. So what is D A E F? D A E F is a rectangle whose dimensions are whose width is A minus B and length is A. This was A originally. Okay. So what is the area of D A E F? It will be A multiplied by A minus B. Okay. And what will be the area of a rectangle F, C and if we call this point as G, O. This is also one rectangle. Isn't it? F, C, G, O is a rectangle. And whose dimensions are? B. Whose dimensions are? What is this length? It is again A minus B. So what are the dimensions of rectangle F, C, G, O? They are? B, this was B, the width was B and length is A minus B. So what is the area of this rectangle? It is B times A minus B, isn't it? So what is the total area of blue portion? Total area of blue portion is, as we know, it was A square 
minus b square which can also be written as which is actually equal to the area of this rectangle that is a times a minus b plus area of this rectangle which is b times a minus b. So now a minus b, a minus b is common. So if we take it out, inside we'll have this a plus b. So what is the value of a square minus b square? It is a minus b multiplied by a plus b. This is the one method of proving this identity. I'll tell you one more method of proving this identity. This time we'll start from the right hand side. Okay. So let me move this canvas upside and let me write this identity once again in opposite way. This identity was saying a minus b multiplied by a plus b is actually equal to a square minus b square. So what is the meaning of left hand side? Here in left hand side we have a minus b multiplied by a plus b. What does it mean? It means it is a rectangle of sides a minus b and a plus b. So let us first draw full length A on both the sides. Okay. So this will, this will be and let us also construct one square. Hmm. And let me mark this length as B and so what is this? This is a minus b isn't it this length is a minus b and this length is how much it is a so we have got one length a minus b now let us extend this line for b length okay and now let us draw a rectangle. So this was length B and now we have a rectangle of sides A minus B and A plus B. Okay. What is left hand side of our identity? It is A minus B multiplied by A plus B. That means it is actually the area of a rectangle whose sides are a minus b and a plus b. Now we have this rectangle shaded in red whose sides are a minus b. This much is a minus b and this much is a plus b. Isn't it? This area. I am talking about this area. Okay, now we have this something projected outside the original square. Now let's talk about the dimensions of this geometrical figure. It is a rectangle whose dimensions are this is B, this width is B and what about this length? It is nothing but A minus B. Okay. So, if we try to accommodate this area inside the original square of side A, since we have this side as B and here also this is B, so I think this area can be fitted into this portion. So, if we take a length of a minus b here 
it will come somewhere till here and this portion this portion which which is let me try and tell you in blue color this portion can be fitted in this area which is a rectangle of size B by A minus B isn't it so what is this remaining portion this remaining length is nothing but B and this was already B this remaining length this was already B because this we marked as B and this we derived that this will be B because original was total A and this portion is A minus B so the remaining will be B. So this area can actually be shifted here. This area can actually be shifted in this yellow shaded portion. So the total area A minus B multiplied by A plus B can actually be shown as this area, this L shaped area, isn't it? What is this L shaped area? This L shaped area is nothing but the total area of the bigger square that was A square minus the area of this tiny piece, this tiny piece. What is this? This is again a square of dimension B by B. So what will be the area of this tiny piece? It will be B square. So again we have reached to the same identity which is A minus B into A plus B is actually equal to a square minus b square. So we have learnt how this identity can be represented in two ways. If we see it from left to right we can solve it in one way and if we see it from right to left it can be represented in another way. But both the methods are very interesting and I think you must have liked it.